Assalamualaikum and hi guys. So, I'm Hazwani. In this video, I'll talk about steady flow energy equation and do two examples on its application on turbo machines. So in, this, um, in the previous lecture or video lecture, I have uh, shown you uh, how to derive the steady flow energy equation from the Reynolds transport equation and apply in steady flow and uh, finally got this equation called as steady flow energy equation so in the steady flow energy equation it is common to write it in terms of heat or energy per unit weight which is measured in meters and in the equation we have the velocity terms on both sides the elevation terms on both sides the pressure terms on both sides and um, heat supplied by the pump on the right, uh, left side heat given up in turbine HT in um, on, on the right side and head loss in the pipe on the right side okay. so whatever going in is on the left side whatever going out is on the right side and if you go back to the Bernoulli equation which um, you have learned before this um, we have a few terms that are similar to the steady flow energy equation which are the pressure terms the velocity terms or the kinetic terms and the elevation terms and we have a few missing terms which are the head supplied by the pump the head given up in turbine and head loss in pipe so this is because the Bernoulli equation is also the statement of conservation of energy but it is used for frictionless fluid with no external or work uh, external work or heat transfer okay and in the equation you also um, if you look uh, in the equation, the velocity is uh, assumed to be uniform. Okay? However, uh, in reality, uh, this is not true because of the viscous resistance that is taken into account. So we have to uh, consider the no slip condition at the wall. Therefore, the velocity is not uniform. And we have to include the kinetic energy correction factor um, alpha. Uh, in the equation so now the equation becomes like um, the bottom one here okay we have alpha in, um, added at the front of the velocity okay so this alpha is basically uh, the value is 2 if the flow is laminar and um, normally the value is 1 okay, for turbulent in most cases the flow is turbulent therefore um, the value is normally 1 or approximately 1. Alright, so that's the uh, brief explanation on steady flow energy equation. If you want to know in details how to derive the equation, you can actually watch the other video. Alright, so let's move on to one of the examples. So we have um, in this example, a pump that carries water mm, uh, from from lower to higher elevation so the pipe uh, of the that is used uh, before and after the pump is the same diameter uh, and the pipe has 50 centimeters diameter eh? and so it carries water at 10 degrees Celsius at a rate of 0.5 meter cube per second this is the flow rate or volume flow rate or also called as discharge so the pump is used to uh, move the water from 30 meters to 40 uh, meters and the pressure at section 1 is given 70 kilopascal gauge and pressure at section 2 is 350 kilopascal gauge so we need to calculate the power in yeah, which is the power input in kilowatt and also in horsepower all right so um so this is your control volume okay from 1 to 2 okay from 1 to 2 Okay, one is the inlet, two is the outlet. Okay, so we apply SFE or steady flow energy equation two one and two. So P one over rho g or gamma, alpha one V one square over two g plus V one H supplied by the pump equals to P two over gamma plus alpha v2 square over 2g plus v2 plus ht plus hl since we don't have the turbine so this is cancelled and v1 is the same as v2 because the pipe has the same diameter therefore this can be cancelled 
and what is left is um, P1, Z1, HP, P2, Z2 and HL and we need to find HP okay, because from HT, HP we can actually find the power okay. H, uh, HP is the heat supplied by the pump so therefore HP if you rearrange the equation we got P2 minus P1 over gamma plus um, Z2 minus Z1 plus HL so P2 is 350 minus 70 so it is in kilo okay kilo or we can also write it in uh, 10 power of 3 okay gamma so gamma if you look um, okay, gamma is about 98 gamma of water is about 9810 okay uh, newton per meter cube okay so 9810 plus Okay, Z2 minus Z1 is 40 minus 30 and HL is 3. Okay, so if you calculate this, you will get um, 41.5 meters. Alright, so 41.5 meters is basically the head provided by the pump eh? the head provided by the pump so there's another equation okay? so uh, for for the uh, power so this is called as power equation okay? so p or power okay? and normally for pump it is power out eh? power out um, so i'm gonna erase this first so power out of the pump okay, is equal to gamma Q HP. Therefore, so gamma is 9810. Q, Q is given as 0 0.5 meter cube per second, the volume flow rate. And HP is what we got here, 41.5 meters. Okay. So you need to calculate this and you should uh, get 204 kilowatt kilowatt okay all right so since um, there is no efficiency given okay, because the pump is assumed to be 100 percent efficient okay efficiency is 100 percent okay all right therefore p in pump is the same as p out pump okay but um normally the pump the efficiency is less than 100 percent which is normally um 50 50 to 80 percent for example all right therefore this is 204 kilowatt and the question also asks you to find the value in horsepower so basically you can uh, convert it by using your calculator or uh, by using conversion um, where uh, 204 kilowatt times with one horsepower is basically 0 0.746 kilowatt so you should get um, 273 horsepower okay all right so I will save this example for you All right, so um, just save this first.
All right. So let's do another example. So this example is um, on the turbine. Okay. Uh, since we have pump previously, now we have turbine. Okay. So the turbine uh, at a maximum rate of power generation, a small hydroelectric power plant takes a discharge or the volume flow rate of 14.1 meter cube per second through an elevation drop of 60 meters um, and the head loss through the intake pan stop. So the pipe used in the um, hydro um, electric power plant is normally called as pan stop. Um, so uh, and also through the outlet works eh? the head loss is uh, 1.5 meters and the combined um, efficiency yeah, of the turbine and also the electrical generator in the uh, powerhouse here is 87 percent so what is the rate of power generation okay so meaning we need to find p out of the turbine okay all right so this is your control volume this is the inlet, this is the outlet. Okay, so we apply and it um SIP steady flow energy equation to one and two. Uh, for one V one square over two G plus Z one HP. So this is definitely zero, there's no pump. So P two plus gamma um, oh sorry alpha v2 square over 2g plus z2 plus ht plus hl okay so what else can be cancel um this is the uh, from the reservoir so the power uh, sorry the pressure uh, is assumed to be atmospheric zero gauge so velocity almost zero at the surface of the water eh? so one is basically here and two is basically here all right so velocity also zero pressure at two also zero velocity at two also zero therefore um we, when we rearrange we can actually get this heat given up in the turbine because from heat given up uh, from the turbine we can actually get the power so heat given up in turbine is Z1 minus Z2 minus HL. So basically, um, what we have here, um, so what we have here is um, Z1 minus Z2, which is 61 minus um, 0. Okay, 61 minus 0 okay, minus HL is 1.5 eh? so what we get here is uh, 59.5 meters alright and from the equation of the power or power equation okay, so that in the previous example we used pump so in the pump equation it is P out of the pump however in um, turbine this one is P in okay, to the turbine and gamma Q HT okay, previously is HP and it is P out of the pump but for turbine is P in of the turbine and HP we replace with HT alright so gamma of water we use 9810 Okay, uh, Q, so what is the value of Q is 14.1 meter cube per second. And HT is what we get here is uh, 59.5 meters. Okay, so you calculate, you should get 8.23 megawatt, 10 power of six okay megawatt all right and to get the p out of the turbine or power generated by the turbine okay first the turbine and the electrical generator um combined efficiency is 87 percent so that's lost all right 
So therefore, efficiency, um, basically efficiency is P out divided by P in. So to get the P out um, of the turbine is basically efficiency times with P in of the turbine. So 87%, 0 0.87 7, times 8.23 megawatt. Okay, so the answer for this question is 7.16 megawatt. Alright, so I hope um, the examples are enough okay, for you to actually um, apply the SFEE into uh, in the turbo machines and later in the next lecture um, I will talk about head losses because um, there are two types of head losses major loss and minor loss all right so see you guys again thank you